kids are a beautiful addition when creating a layout for a Brio 35. But there's a few tips you need to know before doing so. Orchids are epiphyte, meaning their roots will grow in the air and not in soil like the common plant. So they will not filter the aquarium water like herbs, like mint or basil, for example. So it is important to add other plants along with your orchids, which will filter the aquarium water. So here's a few tips of how this new layout was created. First, select orchids, which are small, at the maximum height of 12 inch, including your roots. This way you'll be able to shine the lights onto your flowers. Remove the planting pots from the orchid's roots while keeping its planting media around the roots. In this example, I took two orchids and I tied the roots together. Keep an unplanted area in your garden where expanded clay will be visible and up to the rim of the plant bed. Now place the roots on top of the expanded clay. This way the orchids will absorb all the humidity they need. If planting the roots deep into the substrate or the expanded clay will cause the orchids to be overwatered. Here are some of the other plants I've used in this layout. Basil at the rear as they will grow tall. I've used ivy vines in the middle and in the forefront, I've used some baby tears, which will make a nice lush green carpet. Hope you enjoyed our video. You can reach us at brioaquaponics.ca. This is our web shop where you can check out all of our Brio 35 products and specialized accessories. 